You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heaven's written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adebue, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Tuesday, the 27th day of February 2024, and our topic for today is called to be temperate. Let us pray. King of glory, we worship and we bless your name. We are grateful for this awesome privilege to be gathered at your feet again. Thank you for your protection and your preservation. Thank you for keeping us safe and sound. Thank you for keeping us in good health. Thank you for the sound mind that we have. Thank you for the wisdom to seek you early. Today we have come before you again to receive of your word. We ask that you would minister your word of life to us. We ask you Lord that your word will do a quick work in our lives today and let us never remain the same again for good. Thank you our Lord Jesus. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 25. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 25 reads, And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 25 Our text for today is from the same book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Now we would be reading from verse 24 down to verse 27. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 to 27 reads, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run, that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be cast away. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 24 to 27. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Our topic for today once more is called to be temperate. And in the body of today's devotional, we have our Father and the Lord saying that to fulfill your calling, you must be in full control of your body and not allow sin into your life at all. Galatians chapter 5 verse 17 says that the body and spirit are always at war. You must be able to keep your body in check so that it does not put you in trouble. When God calls you for an assignment, he will support you all the way so that you can succeed despite the forces that try to stop you. However, Romans chapter 8 verse 31 says, If God be for you, who can be against you? The answer is you. If God is for you, yet you cannot control your body not to work against you, then you may not fulfill his call. Not only must you stay away from sin, you must also do everything in moderation. You cannot afford to sleep anytime you like, eat as you wish, or be intimate with your spouse as many times as you want. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 12, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. You must remain in control such that you cannot be brought under the power of even the things that are necessary. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 to 27, Apostle Paul said, I keep my body under. That is the apostle of the same grace that some people claim has taken care of everything and that no matter how much we sin, it is fine. Paul said that he kept his body under. In other words, I tell my stomach when it is going to eat next, and my eyes when they are going to sleep next. People have asked me how I fast for 40 days and nights, and I say, simple, the night before I start, I go to an almanac, 
count 40 days and mark when the fasting is to end. Then I say to my stomach, that date is the next time you will get food. The stomach will grumble because it doesn't like that kind of situation. When you drive along the street, every restaurant on the route will seem to be calling you and you will smell the food in another house from almost a quarter kilometer away. I don't care. I ignore everything the devil tries. After about three to four days, when my stomach sees that I am not yielding, it will keep quiet. He that strives for mastery has to be temperate in all things. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is called to be temperate. Today makes it the fifth day that we have been studying from this series and God has been blessing us thus far. The first topic we considered in this series was a call to diligence and in that study our Father and the Lord explained to us the desire of God for us to be diligent. Our memory verse for that day from the book of Proverbs chapter 12 verse 24 tells us that the hand of the diligent shall bear rule but the slothful shall be under tribute. Our Father and the Lord explained to us that the hands that cannot do manual labor for the kingdom cannot heal the sick. He also made us understand that our calling is never enough to succeed. It is true that God may have called us, but he explained to us that we will also need to add diligence to that call for us to be successful at it. He explained to us that only those who are diligent can make full proof of their calling. The next topic that we studied was a call to tenacity, and we were told from that study that God's promises never fail. Though they may tarry, but we should hold on firmly to them as they will definitely be fulfilled. Our Father and the Lord explained to us from that study also that we must ensure not to compromise while we wait for the fulfillment of His promises. Hallelujah! Then we moved over to the topic a call to multiplication. And in that study, our Father and the Lord made us understand that we do not need to settle for less because God has great things in store for us. He made us understand that certain people, the moment they receive the call of God and they start working in that call, when they experience a little breakthrough, they settle for that as the best that they can achieve. He made us understand that God is interested in the multiplication of our impact around the world. So we must not stop until we win the whole world for Christ. We also learned that we are not only to multiply in the impact that we make in the world, but we are also to multiply in our knowledge of the one who has sent us, that is in the knowledge of God. Our desire must always be to know him more. Hallelujah! Yesterday we studied the topic called to be grateful and our Father and the Lord explained to us that many people on receiving God's call and being equipped with the gifts for the calling, they begin to feel special. We learned from our study yesterday that when God calls us for an assignment, we must be extremely grateful to him for the privilege of being called and for every single achievement as we walk in our calling. We must ensure not to take any glory for ourselves. We also learned from our study yesterday that God is watching to see if we will be grateful or not. In other words, He is expecting gratitude from us. We learned that when we continuously remain ungrateful, even after receiving His warnings, He will withdraw His support and that will be dangerous. Today we are studying the topic called to be temperate. To be temperate talks about being moderated or being controlled not extreme. One of the things about man is that God has made us free moral agents. What that means is that he has given to us the ability to understand right from wrong and therefore we can be held responsible for our actions. We can make decisions and choices and reap the rewards of those choices. As we continue to discuss about our calling and how to fulfill it, one of the things which we learned from our study for today is the fact that we must be in full control of our bodies, ensuring that we never allow sin into our lives at all. As much as God has given us the freedom of choice, we must ensure that whatever we do does not lead us to sin, opening a door to the enemy. 
we learned from our study for today that on our journey to fulfilling our calling, God will give us the necessary support that we need. However, we also have our own part to play. We learned that if God be for us, no one else can be against us except ourselves. We must avoid sin at all costs, avoiding it like a plague. Nothing destroys destiny fulfillment faster than sin. Sin is one of the major reasons why many destinies are aborted and never fulfilled. We also learn from our study today that as believers who desire to fulfill our callings, we must ensure to do everything in moderation. We are told, for example, that we are to decide and make the rules for our bodies and not the opposite. To fulfill your calling, discipline is very important. Discipline in the place of fasting, discipline in the place of prayer, being intentional about it and not just being casual. Discipline in the place of telling our bodies what it should want and what it can have, when it can have it and how it can have it. Our Father and the Lord also read from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 12 which tells us, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Food may be good for the body. However, do not let yourself be brought under its control. Sleep may also be good, but do not be overtaken by it. Other forms of pleasurable activities may be desirable. However, do not let them stand in the way of the fulfillment of your calling. For some of us, the phones that you have have become your greatest undoing. You are always on social media. For others, it may be that television set. You are always following one episode of one show or the other. For some of us, it may even be the friends that we keep. While they may not necessarily be bad friends, they may be working detrimentally to the fulfillment of your calling. Reading from our text for today, starting from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24, the Apostle Paul tells us there, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. In other words, we are in a race, and we must be intentional about not just running, but about running to obtain the prize. The next verse, verse 25, tells us, And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. He applies moderation in all things is not extreme and uncontrollable in his ways, is not obsessed and addicted to things. Hallelujah! At this point, I would like us to bow our heads and we will be asking the Lord for one thing. We will be saying, Father, please grant me the grace for self-control in Jesus' name. We will be asking the Lord today, say, Father, please help me to control myself, not to be given to the pleasures of sin, not to give room or even a foothold to the enemy. Ask the Lord today for the grace for moderation in all things, that we will apply this moderation and self-control in every aspect of our lives, that nothing and no pleasure will have control over us. Ask him for the grace for self-discipline, that like Apostle Paul, we too will be able to put our bodies under, that our bodies would listen and they would obey. Ask the Lord today that in this battle of the body against the spirit, that the Spirit will always win and be in charge in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord and appreciate Him for answers to prayers. Lord, we worship You. Thank You for answers to our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our God in heaven, we thank You for Your word to us today. Thank You for Your word that tells us to be temperate. We ask, O oh Lord, that You would help us to apply moderation in all things. Help us to have our eyes fixed on the prize and let us always have dominion over our bodies. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us, if you want to fulfill the call of God over your life just like Paul, you must be a man or woman with strong self-control. We receive the grace today for strong self-control in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We also have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 20 down to chapter 22. We want to thank you and appreciate you for making our time to join us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, 
please do have to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 19 of our Open Heavens devotional. We will be singing Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me. Have a lovely day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.